I've been on a bit of a quest to make it so that when you change themes, the MIDI color palette changes. Currently, this will probably be added at some point in the future, but currently, if you change your theme, like here I've changed it, here, the these are the MIDI colors, and they change, and it's great. If I go to the light theme, they're all orange, which is which is a problem. There are there are ways of changing this. Uh, for example, you can come up here to the view. You can go to the note colors. You can edit them, uh, edit palette, and you can make a unique palette, and it'll it'll change it. And you can go over to the view. And you can go to the note colors and you can save save your thing as a preset, uh, which if you edit it, save it as a preset so you can go to it later. So like here's one I made and this is the color palette and, and it changes and they're all like, these are all like just really crazy colors, right? Different, very different colors, uh, which is very handy if I want to see notes, if they're doing different jobs, I want them to be very colored very differently. And so you can save like groups of palettes and you could have palettes do specific jobs. And I thought, hey, it'd be nice if for this, the first one it loads up, because here, here's the problem. If you change your theme and then change back, it goes to the themes palette. If you come in here and look, there is nothing in here that allows you to change these colors specific to the theme. So um, if you create a theme, like here's a test theme, this creates a file that you can get to. In this case, for me, it's in Documents, Image Line, FL Studio, Settings, Theme. I know it's kind of a mouthful, but there should be a theme in here called test.flstudio, FLS Theme. If you click this file, if you double click it, it's gonna ask you what you want to open it. Uh, you can use anything like Notepad or whatever. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio because that's what I program in, so that's what I use. So I'm gonna double click this, it'll open it, and there's some stuff for the website in here, but it opened up the file, that, that file. And you'll see in here, there's a whole load of additional things you can control that are not normally available to you in the editor. It's, it's not possible. It'd be really cool too, if you could include like palettes to go with the colors, well, that would be really, really dope. But right now, it's not possible. So, inside of FL Studio, you can get to these colors. Now, these colors are in a weird format. Uh, they are in 32-bit, which is not a friendly format to work with. So, if you're gonna do this, I'll show you how to change them to colors you want. So, to do this, um, I have uh, two things I've used. So, first, I like this color picker website because it also provides like additional uh, color themes. There's a bunch of sites that do stuff like this. So say we want to do this purple color. We're going to copy this. Now it's in hexadecimal right now. It is not in 32 bit. And I'm not super savvy with all the color formats. I know the, the ones I use in CSS, like I use HSL a lot. Um, and RGB is like a classic, hex is one that you should know. But some of these others I just haven't used as much. So once you've picked one, um, what you'll do is I needed to get this to 32-bit float. Now there's probably a website for this, but I have a subscription to Claude, <laughs> which is an AI, it's like ChatGPT. Um, I, fi I, I find it very helpful for programming from time to time. And so I just said, because I don't want to make this, I just said, hey, can you make me a React component that will take in a, a hexadecimal number and spit out the 32-bit version? So it said, sure. And it gave me, at first the button didn't work, but I just said, hey, fix the button, and it worked. It's a very simple function, but it's just convenient because they make these little widgets that'll just do it for you, and it works right in the browser, so it's great. Because I didn't want to have to, like, run it or set up a project to run it. So here we can give it our, our number. Ours was this number. That's the purple. I'm going to click convert, and again, this is something that the AI generated code-wise. You can... Look at the code here is what it looks like. And I am going to copy this. It's a negative number. I'm going to have to remember it. Copy the negative two. And what we're going to do is we're just going to paste it in. You'll notice a lot of them are negative, but there are some positive numbers. Uh, so if you, if you get a positive one, like you saw it was positive, it worked just fine. So I'm going to hold and I'm going to save it. So I hit Control-S. We'll go back to FL. 
And to show you it works, because now this should be purple, right? We leave to go to some other theme to change the colors. And then we go back. Now look at that. It's purple. That's amazing. Let's, let's add another color, uh, just because it's kind of fun. Now, as far as the site, I, I went around looking. Maybe someone in the comments, you can leave like another site that's maybe a bit easier to use instead of having an AI program the function for you. But let's say that, hey, you know, okay, let's add, uh, let's make this second MIDI channel this nice blue color. That's pretty nice. Oh, actually, I like this one more. Uh, so we'll, we'll go for this one. So now we'll come to the AI. We will paste in our thing. I wish it would select the pound sign. Hit convert and copy that. Go over to our file, paste it in, save the file. And then let's make sure we've got some notes. Let's make these Fs. Let's make them on channel two. And I'll change those just to ensure they're on channel two. So now it should be that nice blue. So first we got to leave it so that it has a chance to look at the new colors when we come back. So now we come back and look at that. Now it's blue. This one's purple. And we can go through and, you know, create a custom palette that goes with our theme. So that is how you currently can change the colors. And also there's a bunch of other things in there you can alter as well. But I really, really wanted to get to the colors. And that's some of the things you're going to have to do. You'll have to convert to 32-bit and have it change so that you can save them. But that way, when you make a theme, you, you can do that. This is also in that area. You can also add files because you see some of these have like custom backgrounds and things. Uh, that's how you would do something like that. If you have any questions about this, feel free to drop them in the comments. Or if you have other resources, maybe there's a way easier way. And I am doing it the really hard way. I don't know. This is the way that worked for me. Drop those down below. Uh, I'm very interested to hear what you did. Or if you make a cool theme, be neat to drop a link to where we might be able to check it out also. Uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos. And have a blessed day. Thank you.